Okay, uh, today I have something kind of fun for you. It is my Russian or Soviet book collection. Uh, these are all books that were published, I do believe, in Russia, or most of them I think are based out of Moscow, um, under the Soviet era. So again, it's it's they're all Soviet Union era books. Now, whether they're all Russian or not, I do not know, but kind of one of the same uh, in a way. But uh, I picked these all up at a thrift store in San Diego um, a while back. I think I've talked about them in a few other videos and some of the other things I'd picked up at that thrift store. And uh, I, again, I don't really know anything about them. Um, and I got a, a fair number of them. I don't know, it's probably like 10 or 12 here, a few more. And a lot of them, there's not much to them. Like it's just like a, like this one's just like a little guy. And as you can see, there's not a lot in, in the book. It's just mostly just pages, but it's kind of a cool little form factor. This one, I think, is one of the later ones I have, which is like, I'll show you, like 1988. And then there's a lot of the ones that are kind of plain. They just have like a, like a tank on the cover. So I'm guessing this is probably about the war. You know, and I don't know, like there's some soldier guy in some field and, you know, and more soldier people. Again, I don't know. Think about that one, we'll see his pictures. And then some of them, again, like this one, you can see, looks like a, like a broken swastika on there. Again, probably about the war. So there's that one, there's this book. Uh, I'm trying to think now. Yeah, probably maybe a sailor, probably in the war, because it all seems to be about war. And some of the other ones are kind of cool. Um, I said I got there's this one kind of maybe about like nature or something this one you see it's about this deep sea diver I'm guessing and uh, this one that is like a children or at least not like a school book I don't know about children's book but it's definitely a kids book you can see like money and like design I mean it shows you like design of I guess comparing a cake to geometrics or geometry you know and then looks like formulas algebra things like that so I'm guessing it's more of a school book but these ones these are my favorites these are the ones that are like the science fiction and more of like the more books like more of I guess like the fiction books which I think are pretty cool um, so I'll start off with like this one you can see like that cover is pretty fantastic and this one's got a lot of like, you'll see like science fiction kind of things. And these are, a lot of the illustrations are pretty much like you'd see in any like American um, sci-fi book. Because again, as a kid, I read a lot of sci-fi. Um, I was a bit of a nerdy type of person. And so like a lot of the people in, you know, in, in suits, you know, exploring foreign lands, you know, this giant dragon alien person. You know, these ray guns, like, oh, this is pretty, get that to focus a bit better. You know, it's pretty standard for, you know, 50s, 60s, kind of, you know, space movies, space books, sci-fi kind of stuff. Like, like kids sci-fi, like, not like real, real science fiction. But, you know, so that one's kind of cool. And then this one, again, I do not know what any of these say, but as you can see, I'm guessing that's like very much a rocket kind of shape there. And kind of open it up. And I'm trying to see if this one's got a date. I think this one was like 1972, I think. Or 73, yeah, you see down there. 1973, I'm guessing that is the author. So this one is a few cool, oh, um, this one, okay, I remember now. This one is actually, I think this is about like the pioneers of, or a pioneer of the Russian aviation or space program um, so I think this is like uh, like this is maybe the like they're kind of like right brother kind of person you see here and that dapper gentleman in his lovely little outfit and probably like school age and then kind of see here yeah so like uh, see here it looks like like an early plane or glider there's another like plane or glider there, and you can see that it's definitely, it looks like Russian. And yeah, I see like a biplane kind of model. And then I think it was over in this end, yeah, so yeah, this, this is the one that shows you 
Again, more of the planes. Oops. You'll see like uh, one of the pilots and I guess that's a group of some people. Kind of skip over some of this other and get to the So yeah, here it is. So you see like early like rockets. That's definitely like a uh, rocketry. And they say this is like 1933. So pretty early on in the old uh, program. That one's kind of cool. Now these ones, these ones are like my favorite. And you can see, I mean, that's very, again, 50s science fiction. You know, that's the title of it. Let's see when this one came out. 1973 again and then as you can see like this is actually pretty cool like I love black ink art and this is very like wood print like black ink you see like the rocket ship there you got the guy in the outfit you got their car it looks like a gun so it's very like science spy you know it's, a, it's like a bomber like you know, like James Bond or something and you can see like driving the I don't know there's like a car or whatever up to the Arctic and Maybe it's some kind of secret mission. I don't know, but it's, it's again, it's pretty fascinating stuff. And this one you see again, it's like this man with like machine gun, a car, some uh, creepy clown doll. I don't know, but pretty fascinating stuff. And again, the artwork is just really cool. Like this one especially, you see like the spacesuit here, and all the swirls and like the stars are like Sputnik. That's what kind of reminds me of like Sputnik there. Just pretty, again, pretty fascinating. And again, I don't really know what any of this is or you know, what, what it means. I mean, it's kind of got a guess by the pictures. And then this one is probably my favorite, just that cover. And then uh, is, this is pretty cool too. So if you look at this one, I think, as you can see here, MP Hotel Hollywood. I think this book is probably like some kind of, like, said, like James Bond kind of thing like in America. So it's he's kind of, you know, I'm guessing somebody's like make, like trying to uh, like turn, like make spy or trying to steal something or some kind of plot. You can see, to me this one was more graphic novelish. Like you see like this artwork here, like this one especially. This looks very much of like that era. And like again, it's something you see like in a comic book or in a, you see like a graphic novel. Then you see like this one. So now we have like the Navy ladies, you can see Navy right there. So like I said, it's, I don't really know again what it's about, if it's, you know, is it it's like a fiction novel? Is it supposed to be some kind of like, like James Bond kind of spy or intrigue or like, you know, like a Tom Clancy kind of book? But still, it's kind of cool to think of like, this is probably their thoughts on like what America looks like and, you know, the soldiers and again, clandestine meetings out in the cafes and, you know, like this one, like, you know, people fighting, like, uh, taking on, uh, looks like pilots, and I don't know, it's just pretty cool, and like, I thought this one was cool too, the, like, the motorcycle crew, I don't know if these are the police, or like a group of baddies, or what, but still, it is just kind of fascinating to see, like, their take on it, and I'll show you, again, that's that title, and then there are some other ones, like, uh, again, like um, military books like this one, obviously, 1941, 1945. So, you know, this is about World War II. You can see here, it looks like these are the authors, I'm guessing. And then this one just had one picture I thought was kind of cool. Again, you see, like, the it's like pilots, you know, the jet plane, and then, like, the guy playing violin. I don't know, for whatever, it just seemed very... Kind of, again, kind of like Russian, kind of that era. Also kind of reminded me of like the Take On Me video. Like that one and all the, well, those are like the racers, but this is kind of a similar look. And here's like another one. And I'll show you, this is the one I thought was pretty cool. Cause again, talk about like ink and woodblock. This book is full of them. But you can tell very much this is, you know, those I say Nazi helmets, the globe, probably like, you know, taking over the world and the war. And this one's got, like a bunch of them. I thought this one was kind of interesting. It had like a, that thistle there, like a, I don't, so I don't know if that's supposed to be like the UK or what, but again, kind of a fascinating little guide. I think there's a, well, I'm sorry, that one. But yeah, pretty cool little books. 
And then this one wasn't anything too fascinating. It's like a two book set. But one of the things I thought was kind of cool is that it did have, like I like books with like inscriptions and things. And so this one has that inscription in it. I'll show you that. So I can't, I can't read any of it, but you know, still it's kind of cool. You can't imagine what it says. And also I thought this was kind of funny. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it on there, but somebody had taken like a pencil and like traced all around the guy. So I kind of picture some kid in class being bored. You know, like we all, well, not say we all were, but like I was quite frequently and scribbling and just doing some, you know, doodling in the, in the school book while some boring lecture was going on. And this was kind of cool too. This was a uh, hidden, or not hidden, but this was stuck in one of the books. I'm guessing this is like a little, like a library slip. Like something so you can check it out. So as you can see, this is probably a very popular book. But still, that was kind of cool just to see that, you know, somebody wrote this and tucked it in there. And I'm guessing this is the guy, it's probably like his life, probably like some big, big wig in the Communist Party or the uh, war. That's pretty cool. And then I'll show you this one. This is my favorite one. It's an Ernest Hemingway book. I think it was, uh, I can't remember if it's like The Old Man in the Sea or something like that. I had one of my friends translate it one time. Um, but this inscription is why I like this one so much. Let's see, let me show you. So, to my dearest friend from America, please write me. We shall be great pen friends. My address is, and it shows her address, and it's, and it's her name. Looks like Chesnokova Valentina. And again, I'm sorry if I pronounced that horribly wrong, but that's what it looks like. So as you can see, this is the USSR, April 21st, 1990. So it wasn't long thereafter, there was no more USSR. But that's kind of cool. And this is like her, uh, her address in her uh, uh, native language, it looks like. But yeah, so I just thought this was really cool and to know like, you know, uh, during the, the fall of like the, you know, the Iron Curtain and all that, you had somebody here that was a pen pal with uh, somebody from America, and they sent him this book, which is kind of cool because it's came out, I think it was dated, let's see, I got it, yeah, 1989. So this was like a brand new book that she bought for her and then mailed it over to, uh, to her new pen pal here in America. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, it's, it's again, it's a kind of a fascinating thing just to kind of picture in your head, like what these books are, like what they're writing about, like, you know, these like, you know, fiction books, like non-fiction books, like, I mean, I'm sure I'll, like these are probably, well, those are probably fiction, you got the space race, you got war, you got spy novels, you got biographies, you got all this stuff, you know, and languages and things of people that, you know, I don't really know. And I probably will never know. I mean, I could probably find some Google Translate or something and, you know, figure it out. But still, it's just kind of fun. It's a picture in your head. So anyway, I know I've talked about these before in the past. But these are my Soviet, like I said, book collections. Um, and I'll show you this too so you can kind of see again. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that is Moscow, like 1966. And uh, yeah, all, uh, all, all from the Soviet Union and all picked up in San Diego at a thrift store. So that's it for today. Thanks.